Since the 11th century, in Beijing, dynastic emperors built moats to defend their city walls, and it's a loop of these waterways that makes up the last of the five walks in this series. Once again, it was Kublai Khan and his grand architect, Guo Xiaojing, that we have to thank for building the moats, most of which still stand today in various states of repair. There are many points you can start the northern loop, but I opted to begin near the China Daily Office at Huixin Xinjie, along the water that demarcated the Yuan Dynasty northern city boundary, about halfway between the third and the fourth ring roads, directly north of the Lama Temple. I started early and headed west along a sliver of the well-kept Yuan Dadu Ruins Park that follows the water along the entirety of the northern stretch. Apart from the occasional road crossing, the path shields you from the city, and with a few reminders of the Dadu city along with lots of activity to observe, it makes a very pleasant start to what turned out to be a very warm day. Making a sharp left at Si Tu Chung, the park continues for a short while before spitting you out onto the road in search of finding the southern canal. From this point onwards, the path varies enormously in both development and character. There are still small stretches of well-kept parkland, but most of the canal has a more raw feel as you come into close proximity with Beijing daily life. Old people congregate under bridges for afternoon games of Marjan, taxi drivers sit out on curbs resting in the midday slowdown and playing cards, and swimmers brave the murky water to get their daily exercise. The Southern Canal runs along the last of the walled city borders from the Qing Dynasty, but was actually built 700 years earlier, providing a link between the water entering the city at Jingshe Tan through to the Ba River and out to the Grand Canal. Taking another sharp left, I got back on the Yuan Dynasty moat, this time heading north through the least conserved waterway past the point at which I started the last walk along the Bar River, under the third ring road and left again and into the park where I first started, for the final stretch back. It's about 20 kilometres in total, and I was back at my starting point within seven hours of setting off. It's worth reading a little about Kublai Khan and his city of Dadu before you start, as it will make the walk a little more interesting. That said, other than the moats, you will have to go searching for remnants of the old city. This is DJ Clark along the Beijing waterways for China Daily.